Hello YouTube, I just ran through uh, the Red Dragon and the Mole Crawler for the current battle ranking in Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. And uh, I was just recording my screen on uh, through OBS. Just figured I'd uh, show you guys the recording here and kind of just talk over it because I wasn't talking while I was playing. Um, Alright, here we go. For top 100. Um, here I did lower the attacks a little bit because I didn't like when Sephiroth was getting targeted and dying, which did happen. Um, sometimes he was targeting Aerith, which I like, I preferred. She's, she was tankier. Um, but in this specific run he targeted Sephiroth. Sephiroth survived the first hit, but not the next one. I don't think it was even my best run, but, uh, I just wanted to show you guys. Maybe it could give you an idea on what you could run. I'm certain not everybody has exactly what I have. Some might have less, some might have more of some things. Uh, and I am quite the whale and or kraken status within the game. So I'm sure a lot of people watching this um, aren't, don't exactly have everything at OB10. But, I mean, you might have some stuff. The idea is to throw some magic defense down. I, I use that with uh, Telluric Fury from Sephiroth's Nameless. Um, get some ice resistance down. I just used a Materia for that one. And and uh, just have Adam with some uh, icy magic attacks. Of course, the new Yuffie would be really good for this. Um, but I'm not pulling for that just yet. Might pull for it in a few days. Um, so because of that, I'm using Vincent with uh, Hugin and Moonin in his, in his main hand because it gives him an ice potency materia slot. And I'm just I've just got that limit break uh, magic ability stance potency outfit on him. Uh, Red Dragon is not immune to poison, so you can hit him with Bio, which does do a percentage of his health. Um, damage over time so it doesn't matter how much magic attack you have stacked on whoever's using bio it's, it's probably good to put bio on your weakest person or whoever has the most uh, buff debuff duration extension this part here bugged me a bit sometimes I didn't get the heals off in time before this but uh, I did in this recording so that's good and this is the one that would sometimes kill Sephiroth and it would bug me. I, I wish he targeted Aerith there, but it is what it is. The idea is to keep everybody high on magic attack, give them some ice potency. I think I'm going to give Vincent the fruitful energy here. Uh, these runs weren't perfect. I think there were a few mess ups. Um, on both the Red Dragon and the Mole Crawler, but it, but it is what it is. Well, also, guys, I'm a partner on YouTube now, so people can join the community and subscribe. That's pretty cool. Speaking of subscribe, give me uh, a follow over on Twitch. Links in the description. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's free to hit that subscribe button. I mean, you're watching the video anyways. You know. More than 98% of viewers aren't subscribed. It's true. It's true. You don't know it until you uh, it, until you look at the stats, but it's true. All right, so here we are doing some damage, some nice and icy damage. Now I don't know what I was thinking here. I think I just launch Chaos Rampage and Diamond Dust before I get um, Thunder Blizzard or. I see judgment. Yeah, I did. I don't know what I was thinking there. I probably should have just waited, pop them all off at once for the high damage, right? And at least I would have had the ice, ice potency up for Shiva. I mean, I already do have ice potency up thanks to Citric Wand. Oh, I didn't even have it on Sephiroth at the moment, which he's the one who was using Diamond Dust. Ridiculous. I don't know. That could have went a little better. Oh, you know what? No, that went as good as it could have because I wouldn't have been able to use Diamond Dust if I waited since Sephiroth died there. I forgot about that. It would be nice if in that phase there, 
he kills Aerith or Vincent. Specifically, Aerith would have been better, probably, because Vincent has his buff from Chaos Rampage, or did. I guess it didn't last too long. Yeah, it would be good mm. if he killed Vincent there, because, I mean, Chaos Rampage just r runs out, and then he kills Vincent, and then Aerith would have um, Icy Judgment in time. You know what? I don't know. I don't know if Aerith would have DPSed him by herself alone. Vincent survives, so. Yeah, if Red Dragon just targeted Vincent or Aerith instead of Sephiroth there, I think my whole party would be alive, actually. Because Vincent pops the magic defense on himself with a ward shot from Sawed Off GS. And uh, Aerith just has a bunch of HP from her equipment. Anyways, that was the Red Dragon there. I'm going to move on and go straight to the Mole Crawler, I believe, and um, I already did my actual daily. This is the daily for uh, Red Dragon, but I already did my actual daily for Mole Crawler, so I believe I just do a regular, a regular run, which for Mole Crawler, I have maxed out 900%. Yeah, 900% total bonus. I just maxed out everything. I think I did some runs with slightly less HP on uh, Mole Crawler, like 5,000% HP instead of 9,000. And I got pretty high score too, it's around the same, but I think I get slightly more when I almost double it up to the 9,000. And as you can see, I've got um, Vincent's new outfit and his new weapon, but I only have an OB1 copy. And it still does a lot of damage, so. Yeah, I maxed out her buff extension to the max because like you get the 60% buff extension there. And she's got the Thunder Blizzard. She's got all the status dealing stuff. Uh, but here's what I mean about the buff extension. Everything. So that's 60%. And then level 7 buff extension here. She doesn't need the physical attack from the Wind Slash. But there was no point in putting magic attack on. Because she maxes it out with her Thunderbird, Thunderbird alone in main hand anyways. Um, Tifa gets a little bit of buff extension because of her moves. Both of them bring magic attack up, so. Yeah, the duration of debuffs to Ooh. others is what gets lowered, not to self. Keep that in mind. And debuff specifically. So if you're buffing others or, or self, you keep that. It's only debuff to others specifically. So when you're casting, like, magic defense down or lightning or earth resistance down in my case i'm not using the earth because there's a bonus against using earth but uh that's why i have that extension on to the max for lucia because even at the max it still doesn't last that long we keep magic defense on the whole time but she does have to reapply uh lightning breach now and then for the lightning resistance down of course, there's the lightning resistance down weapons like Wind Slash with Yuffie. Um, Seaside Collar with Red or Kate Sith's new Witch's Broom. But they're all physical attacks. Oh, I think Red has one too. Wait, no, yeah, Red. Ha yeah, the Seaside Collar. Uh, anyways, but they're all physical attacks and there is a bonus for where it costs one more, one or two more ATB. For every physical attack which sucks so you get more of a bonus the more you have that and if you just don't use physical attacks at all you can reap all the benefits of that bonus while never have to worry about the downfall so in this case i'm i'm doing more of just a magic defense down with a magic attack here from blazing rose first and then only laser sparks from then on out and magic defense stays applied the whole battle uh but then i just use a lightning breach for the lightning resistance down it's just single but we get lightning resistance up from uh, Thunder Blizzard coming up. I don't know why I popped this now. I should have waited. Oh, I screwed up because I was trying to, I was like, I was scared that I, I lost the uh, big defense down, the big magic defense. You probably want to pop whatever limits or summons you have before Molecrawler loses his like um, cooldown mode. When he's in cooldown mode, he takes bigger damage. 
And the higher damage you do, the better score you'll get. So this was not a perfect run, but that's the general idea. That's why I popped those before I got Thunder Blizzard. Would have been nice if I had Thunder Blizzard first, but it is what it is. Anyways, now they all have the lightning resistance up, or lightning damage up for the rest of the battle. Vincent gets a max magic attack off with a couple lightning um, boosts. Tifa got one off. They're all going in. They're all doing damage. They were killing it. Good stuff there. I got a new record. One, 1,069,000. Nice. Nice. Speaking of nice. Got it there. That's wicked. But anyways, guys, I know I already said it before, but I'll say it again. Over 98% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. It's free to subscribe on YouTube. You just you don't have to click the join button. Uh, you can just hit that subscribe button, and then you'll get my recommended... You already get my recommended videos in your feed. I mean, if you're watching this, you either search it up, or it was in your recommended feed, and you're not even subscribed, so you might as well show some support. Just hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. What did you like? What did you not like? What could I have done better? What did you use? Was this fun? Do you want to see more of the old dungeon rankings back? Do you like the guild ranking battles? I, lo I love the guild ranking battles. Those are fun. Uh, I would love to see the old dungeon rankings back. These are actually a bit of a pain in the rear end. Um, but yeah. Uh, follow me on Twitch too. I go live playing Ever Crisis sometimes. Anyways, if you made it this far in the video, or if you watched it all and you didn't even hear this part of the video, regardless, I appreciate you. Thank you for coming by. Cheers.